my, my sister is going to teach me my brother is going to teach me nobody's going to do that nobody has that time to do that for you everybody's busy working and schooling so you literally don't have somebody who's going to wait around for you guys my name is princess oliver and welcome to the princess oliver's diary on today's episode i will be talking about all these things before you come to australia yes no this is before you come to australia before you decide that you want to relocate to australia from any part of the world that you are in know these things as this will help you a lot now one of the things that i will be telling you if someone had told me this thing before i relocated my life would have been a lot easier settling down in australia would have been a lot easier yes i'll go through it now if you are relocating to australia these things come with them come prepared have your mind set up before you relocate if you are anywhere in the world and you want to relocate to australia for you to enable you settle down very seamlessly easy you know just settle down in australia please learn how to drive please learn how to drive before you come to australia the reason why i would say this is the average cost of driving lesson in australia it's about 50 to 60 dollar an hour so if you want to learn how to drive in australia it will cost you minimum of 50 to 60 dollar an hour for you to learn how to drive now if you are to calculate that in naira if i'm to use my currency to calculate that it means that you're going to be paying an average of 35k to 40k to learn how to drive in an hour and do you know the number of lessons it will take you to learn how to drive yes i thought that you are likely to spend up to 500 dollars to as much as two thousand dollars to learn how to drive in australia it will save you lots of money if you know how to drive driving is essential in australia it's very important you know how to drive and moving yourself from point a to point b this is way easier it's faster it's quicker it's more efficient it's convenient because it's your car and also you are likely to spend less on transportation right another thing you should know before moving to australia is Australia is a distance from Nigeria. So the average cost of flight will be within $2,000 to $3,000 for one way. What I said is one way, not two way, not two and four. For example, if you're on a student visa, right? And you, you, if you got your student visa and you're relocating to Australia, you would want to take a one way flight. You would not want to take two and four because you're not going to book a flight for, you know, you're not going to put your return ticket date for another two years, right? If your study is two years or three years or five years, depending on, on the number of years your study is. So you want to take a one way ticket because that's one of the beautiful things about having a student visa. You can set to take a one way ticket. So a one way ticket will cost you about two thousand dollars to three thousand dollars. That is a lot of money. So understand that flight is expensive to Australia. Australia is a distance from Nigeria. It takes you roughly more like a two day flight because you have multiple layers over time, right? So third thing that I think you should do before coming to Australia: try and get African foods. Now, if you are the type that has not adapted to the Oibo culture, to the Western culture and their food, eating might be very difficult for you as this is not UK, this is Australia. So there are not, there are not a lot of Nigerians here in Australia. So you are not likely to find African restaurants so much in Australia because there are limited African restaurants. You can, I can count the number of African restaurants in Sydney. And buying African food in Australia can also be very expensive. A two bar of yam can can go as much as forty dollar for one two bar of yam. This is not a massive two bar of yam, or this is a medium sized two bar of yam. So if you have to calculate that in naira, that means you're spending almost twenty k for yam. Try and get Nigerian food. Now there are restrictions to bringing Nigerian food. You can't bring liquid things like oil. You can't bring them. And if you're bringing any Nigerian food, make sure that there are packed perfectly they are perfectly packed sealed labeled with the appropriate labeling such as your NAFTAC number your production date your expiring date this item should have such so you don't just go and bring crayfish in a container or bring ugu in a in a pack without a label on it 
you have to get packed goods packed food stuff before coming to australia you need to get packed food items so you can't just stuff them in a bag and take them they're not going to let you they're not going to let you in on those they're not going to let you bring those food in if you just stuff them like that so make sure that when you're coming to australia you have foods packed nigerian food carry nigerian food it is very very important nigerian foods are expensive in australia and if you want to wavy an item from nigeria to australia i want to use lagos as an example one kg taking one kg of item from nigeria to australia will cost you equivalent to nine thousand to ten thousand that is one kg so imagine an item which is way more than that bring more food than clothes because you can always buy cheaper clothes of you know wears here right take the most important items to you but make sure you bring food alongside with you it is very important thirdly i would mention learn how to make your hair yes these things are important making your hair is very very important an average weaving i mean when i say weaving an average weaving that you carry on your hair that you put wig on top cost you a hundred dollar that is 50 to 60 k naira so learn how to make things such as you can make weaving on your hair it is very important so that you don't spend unnecessary money this helps you save do you understand what i mean it helps you save learn how to plate your hair learn how to wash your hair yourself if you know how to braid good and fine for you because you can use that to make money here in australia it takes a lot to want to do all of those things so i have mentioned four things that you should know before coming you know, to australia learn how to drive very important prepare for the cost of flight an average cost of flight from nigeria to australia would cost you two thousand to three thousand dollars for one way ticket three bring food items it's very important bring food items and not just food items make sure they are properly packed and labeled you need to have properly packed food and label and dry foods only you don't go and bring oil they will not let you pass with that they'll take it out thirdly learn how to make your own hair learn hair care if you are a girl learn hair care learn how to plate weaving underneath your hair learn how to wash your hair yourself just learn basic hair skill you need it you can sit in front of the mirror and make your hair this will save you a lot of dollars guys trust me this would save you a lot of dollars today thank you so much for tuning into my youtube channel thank you so much for your like your comments your share and if you find this information helpful please kindly leave a comment if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me personally please reach out to me you know in the comment section tell me what you like what you want me to talk about and i will gladly talk about those things thank you so much for tuning to the episode of princess oliver's diary yes thank you thank you guys thank you <laughs> thank you and catch you on the next episode bye